Hi guys, um, so today we're going to be looking at 3D shapes and we're going to be looking at the different properties that they have and how we distinguish the difference between them. Okay, so a 2D shape is a normal shape that we draw. Okay, it's called a 2D shape because we can measure it by two dimensions, width and height. Now, 3D shape, okay, we'll see one like this, it's called 3D because it has three dimensions we can measure it by. It's width and it's height again, so it's width and it's height, but also how far back. It can go its depth okay so it has three dimensions that's why we call it a 3d shape now the first thing that we're going to look at is uh, faces okay now in 3d shape when we say faces we mean how many flat surfaces it has okay so I have a cylinder here okay we can see we've got one flat surface there so there's one face another flat surface there there's two faces but faces can also be curved so we have another one there joins all the way around so it's only one so we have three Okay, so faces are flat surfaces, but they can also be curved. Okay, same here with the, the sphere. It only has one face. Okay, second thing we're going to look at are the edges. Now, edges are simply what they sound like. It is the edge of the shape. It is where two faces come together. Same as you would say if you were saying the edge of a table and the edge of a desk. It is like an edge. So what we're counting on them, if we're counting there, We'd have to count one edge, two edge, three edge, four edge, five edge, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we know the cube has eight edges. Okay, again, they can sort of be curved. So on the cylinder, we have two edges, one there and one there, where the two faces meet. Last thing we're going to look at are vertex or vertices. Okay, it's called vertex if there's one of them vertices if we have more than one of them. Now the simple way to put what this is, is a corner. Now what uh, vertices technically is, is where two or more edges meet. You can see we've got three edges coming in there, but it still comes to a corner. So the easiest way to spot them is to look for the corners. We can see on our cylinder, we don't have any vertices because none of the edges meet each other. There are no corners on it. Whereas when we look at that, the cube, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, turn it over, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight corners on that. Now, it is easy when you've got these shapes, well, easier, to count the vertices, to count the edges. When it is harder is if you're doing the question that has a picture like this of a cube, and it says, how many edges does that have? It gets harder because we can't see at the back. Okay. Same with this one, a triangular prism. We can't literally count the sides on the back. Now when that happens, all we have to do is imagine the shape in front of us and count round them. And that'll help us work out how many each shape has. What I also want to mention with shapes as well is they can be different. So this is a cylinder, as you can all see. Okay, Two circles on each end. Now that is not what all cylinders look like. Cylinders can look different. That could be longer, it could be uh, shorter, it could be fatter, it could be thinner. The reason this is a cylinder is because it has a circle on one end and a circle on the other end. The length, the height, how fat it is, that doesn't affect at all the fact that that's a cylinder. So lots of different shapes can be cylinders. Some can't, okay? Now, we couldn't have this longer, or else it would be a cuboid, but we could have it bigger. But if we had it bigger, all of the sides would have to be different, uh, enlarged because a cube has squares on every side. Okay, so we couldn't just enlarge one of them. So the shapes are different. Now, if you need any more help, okay, just leave a message in the comments, or something like that, and I'll help you out as much as I can. As well as that, um, if you find this video helpful, leave it a like. And like I always say, if you find any or know anyone who you think might find these um, uh, useful, or you might find them useful, subscribe or share the page, please. Thanks a lot now.